Hey street fans, it's Gary Vaynerchuk from Wine Library TV here with a little tidbit for uh, you guys about Vino. Always looking for QPR, quality price ratio. And so that's what I want to do for you today. I want to give you two wines in two different price categories that I think you can really sink your teeth into. Hopefully we're going to be doing a lot of videos for you that can bring value as the wine world is tough to navigate and a lot of times you're overpaying for name. And so I want to give you a couple little tidbits that are kind of the pulse of the industry. And here are my two uh, shout outs today. Let's start with this. This is the Don Nicanor uh, 2005 Malbec. It's a $12 wine. It's a, you know, a wine that has gotten great press as high as 91 points from Wine and Spirits and is a wine that I think brings enormous thunder, a term I use for wines that bring great quality. I think the one thing you'll notice is the color is sensational. And if you're looking for you know, parties or you're doing a dinner party or you know, with football weekends coming up or entertaining in any shape or form and you're looking for that $12 wine that brings $25 value, I think you have to start looking very serious at Argentina and Argentinian Malbecs. They are absolutely positively value driven. The currency has not hit Argentina as strong uh, compared to like say the Euro that's really bothered us here in the US with the wine prices and we're still getting tremendous fruit bomb wines. You know wines that are reminiscent of the $20, $25 Cabernets that everybody loved in the 91, 94, 95 vintage, you're starting to get these great 12 $15 Malbecs, um, which is one of the original grapes from Bordeaux that bring a lot to the table. You know, a lot of blackberry, a lot of currant coming through on these wines. Great structure, high tannins. Um, one thing I really like from these wines, and specifically from the Don Nicanor, is that it's got great balance and mid palate. It acts like real wine at 12 bucks. And so many of you are always looking for great wines in this price range, but they're so hard to come by. So if you're looking for a case to have around, you know, in the house for just parties, you know, just watching the baseball playoffs or eating with pizza, I highly recommend you look at Mendoza Malbecs globally and specifically at the Don Nicanor, which is really rolling in as an 89, 90, 91 point type wine at a very, very fair price. Now, the hot tidbit for all you collectors and investors out there, the Vinifera 2005 Napa Valley Cabernet. This wine rolls in under $30 a bottle from Napa Valley. Very small uh, production winery and really, really bringing the heat, bringing the thunder. Um, what's really exciting for me is you always pay for the Napa brand and it's always so tough to find good value anymore. But this wine really rivals the Camuses, the Silver Oaks, the Jordans of the world for half the price. And that's what I want to bring to your attention. On the Sniffy Sniff, you get that classic oak and that caramel kind of thing going on. A really big brightness, black cherry coming through on the nose as well. Very big length explosion. Reminds me a little bit of the cake bread Cabernet on the nose. You definitely get a little of that oak monster coming through. On the palate, just completely attacks you with that cherry soda component that so many people are addicted to. Great oak, great length. I get a vanilla component that I think so many people love out there and for under 30 bucks, I think that this is an absolute positive steal and if you can find the Nipper 2005 Napa Cab, you have to absolutely go out there and grab it. Great length, great finish, rivals Silver Oak, Jordan, Cake Bread, Camus, wines that are now 50 to $70 a bottle and this is an absolute pickup, a QPR, quality price ratio monster. We'll see you next time. Gary Vaynerchuk, Wine Library TV, doing some great stuff for the street.